In this video, we're going to look at Benjamin Moore's Revere Pewter, talk about it in detail, and also come up with a few coordinating paint colors that you can use in your home. If you're looking for some paint color inspiration based around Benjamin Moore's Revere Pewter HC172, then buckle up because it's paint people time. So I've been a pretty vocal cheerleader for Revere Pewter for a number of years now. Working as a professional house painter and consultant, I find myself recommending this color to many people, many clients, and luckily, every time that I do, they seem to be pretty happy with it. In fact, they're usually ecstatic. There is a pretty clear reason why Revere Pewter has been one of Benjamin Moore's best-selling colors for a number of years now, and that's because of the incredible amount of versatility it offers as a paint color. Everything about it feels balanced. It's a little bit warm with some cool elements. It's very middle of the road in terms of how dark it is, and it's not overly vibrant as a color, meaning it can absolutely slot into a number of different homes pretty seamlessly. I wouldn't call it a showstopper color by any means. It's definitely more of a show must go on color because it works with so many different color schemes and can be a fantastic glue color to fill in some of those gaps within your palette. So to start things off with this analysis, I want to look at the colors LRV, which is 55.05. For those of you that are new to the channel, the LRV is the color's light reflectance value. And it's pretty important in determining how light or dark a color appears when you put it on your walls. This zero to 100 percentage scale tells us that Revere Pewter reflects about 55% of the light that hits it. And that means it appears on the lighter side of mid-tone colors, pretty middle of the road. But that added lightness is to its benefit because people generally tend to gravitate towards lighter colors inside their home generally speaking, especially the ones that are going in the more predominant areas of your home. I still think the sweet spot is around the low 60s range, but Revere Pewter's little added depth also means it'll do a better job at creating a subtle statement because it has that extra bit of oomph. What kind of color is it? Well, it really is one of those transitional neutrals that bridges the gap between cool and warm, or maybe gray and beige. And sometimes when the ratio favors gray a tad more, like in this case, you start to see a little more of a green undertone lurking in the background. I wouldn't go as far as to say that Revere Pewter is a greeny gray beige or a greenage, which is my favorite made up word ever, but there are certain lighting conditions and certainly flooring that can really give the impression of a noticeable green coloration at times. Being a big fan of green, this clearly doesn't bother me one bit, but I do realize that a lot of my clients would be apprehensive about anything greeny on their walls. But you have to remember that this color has been immensely popular for the better part of a decade, maybe even two. So maybe that bit of green isn't really a big deal after all if so many people have been using it. Just a quick note on Edgecomb Gray, which is Revere Pewter's close neighbor, being HC173. Most people would say that it's just a lighter version of Revere Pewter which is partially true, but that lightness also gives it a slightly different feel undertone-wise, where the gray within it isn't nearly as prominent, and therefore you don't get as much of that visible green that you would see in Revere Pewter. They're perfect colors to use alongside one another. In fact, I use them in conjunction quite a bit, but I do see them as slightly adjacent colors that are in the same family, but they're not necessarily identical either. Let's get into the white color pairing that I could recommend alongside Revere Pewter, and that is Vanilla Milkshake. I call it a dark white because when you start to compare it to other brighter whites that are seven, eight, nine points lighter, you really start to notice that difference. But why I like this choice is it still has a considerable amount of contrast from Revere Pewter itself. We're talking like a 35% separation in darkness between the two. So your vanilla milkshake baseboards, for example, will still really pop against Revere Pewter as the corresponding wall color. Vanilla milkshake shares some common elements with Revere Pewter, but I would say you would be pretty hard pressed to really notice it in practical use 
next to Revere Pewter. The two together help tame that kind of greeny quality a little bit. So if that's what you're trying to accomplish, there's your white color pairing. My light color pairing is a little bit darker than that, and it's reliant on a subtle gray blue undertone, which will help Revere Pewter feel a little warmer and even light taupe leaning. And that color is Horizon. With a nearly 73 LRV, this pale cool gray has this effortless feeling to it. And Benjamin Moore describes it as a bit of a clean slate, which I love. What's interesting about incorporating a cool gray like this with Revere Pewter is it forces you to move away from that trap of just picking subtle variations of the same kind of color. Of course, we're still dealing with the neutral color palette to a certain degree, but at least you're not mashing five grayages together. You may read color temperature differently from me, but I tend to favor cooler colors like Horizon in places like bathrooms or maybe bedrooms, and then have your warmer colors in the larger, or at least the connecting parts of your home, like hallways, living, and dining areas. Horizon on its own is pretty soft and subtle with its coloration, but it's those warmer colors like Revere Pewter that can accentuate that pale blue gray green within it. That's why if you use them in the same space, one being a wall color and the other being maybe a subtle accent color, they'll pop off one another a little bit. I actually don't mind the idea of having Horizon on the walls and Revere Pewter as a trim color for something a little more contemporary, maybe a little more different. Probably not to everyone's taste, but I think it might be a fun way to change things up. The mid-tone color takes a lot of what Revere Pewter offers, but drains away that beigey warmth. As part of the Benjamin Moore's Classics collection of colors, we have Smoke Embers, which essentially is a cooler mid-tone taupe that feels cooler than Revere Pewter temperature-wise, but doesn't necessarily contain a strong blue coloration either. It feels like an earthy gray that has a bit of warmth coming from brown rather than beige, and that is what differentiates it mainly from Revere Pewter. Its LRV is fairly similar, sitting around 51, but will seem a little darker in person because it doesn't have that warmth to help brighten up the color. I would still say that Revere Pewter is perhaps the more versatile color, and Smoke Embers plays more of a secondary or supporting role as that slightly deeper colors in the areas where you just want to change, but still live within the mid-tone neutral category. The true accent color in this entire palette has to be the dark color, which is usually the case in these videos, but not always. It's called Evening Dove, and as weird as it may sound, I see it as a lighter navy blue. Navy blues by nature are deep and dark, but when you compare this color to the immensely popular Hale Navy, for example, you will notice that there is a pretty considerable difference between the two. Hale Navy has a lot more saturation, while Evening Dove is almost a navy charcoal gray with a slightly more passive dusty quality. And whenever I say dusty, it just means that there's some gray added in to mute it or desaturate it, almost as if there was a very thin layer of dust over the color. It does have a 12 LRV, which is still dark enough to be considered a dark color, but there are those darker colors like Hail Navy, which I just mentioned. You can find out more about it right over here. Maybe you want that additional saturation. I don't know. Either way, I got you covered. Just pick your poison, y'all.